Good afternoon. My name is Douglas Berg, and I am the loving father of Gunnar and Kiana Berg, who have been abducted to Japan. I want to sincerely thank my congressman, James Moran, and Congressman Chris Smith for their tireless efforts on behalf of our abducted children in Japan. They have chosen to fight for our rights as left-behind parents, and they, but more importantly, they are fighting for our children's rights. I want to tell you about a dream that I had the other day. I had a dream that I was reunited with my own children and that we were finally back together. I hugged them and I cried because we were finally together at last. But by the time the dream was over, my children were re-abducted by my ex-wife. I woke up sweating, couldn't believe that I would have such a messed up nightmare. Then it occurred to me that this is the only time that I'm able to see my own children standing beside me is in these dreams. This is an experience that I wish no one would ever know because it is so sad and so unbelievable. When I think about my children being abducted, there are so many things I just don't understand about this whole situation. I don't understand why someone can be so selfish to remove the loving kids from their loving father. I struggle every day not understanding the effects this abduction has on my own children. I guess what I really don't understand the most is why Japan does nothing to resolve these issues. Does Japan really feel it is okay to abduct children from around the world? It is so sad that so many parents are suffering from their children being abducted to Japan. Before Gunnar and Kiana were illegally abducted, we would spend a lot of time together right before they went to bed. We would mostly just sit and talk about what happened throughout the day. It was an opportunity for them to ask me questions and it was an opportunity for me to teach them about life. Gunnar sometimes would tell me jokes. Knock knock jokes were often his specialty. We often laughed together until he fell asleep. Kiana would often ask me questions that showed just how loving and caring of a person she is. She only thought about other people and just wanted to make them happy. These wonderful times of sitting there with my children right before they go to bed have been taken away from me and all I have left are these precious memories. In 58 years there have been numerous efforts with the government of Japan and the Japanese court system to return our children but not one single child has ever been returned. Not one in 58 years. Separating a loving parent from a child is not in the best interest of our children. The best parent is both parents. These unnecessary abductions are nothing but despicable human rights violations that need to be corrected. Our children are way too important for this to happen. Again, I really want to thank the congressman, my congressman, James Moran, for his tireless efforts on this behalf and also uh, Representative Smith, who's been fighting for this cause, as you know, for a very long time. I can't say enough about all your great work and the work of everybody here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Burke.